Mexico baking with above normal temperatures. Chief Neurologist Joe Diaz has your forecast on how long it's going to last. Yeah, the heat's really going to rage across southern parts of New Mexico, but we have uh, combining systems across the area. We have these outflows that have been kind of converging on this area that we're watching. So with those converging outflows from uh, distant showers and thunderstorms, we're getting a cluster of showers and thunderstorms with some pockets of moderate rain throughout the Westgate Heights. Now this area is still warm. It doesn't have the rain cooled air and with it, you can kind of see it went from nothing and then as those outflow winds came in. You can see it really starting to intensify over here and we're getting thunder and lightning forming around uh, the big eye and I can hear it around Comanche and Carlisle as well. But as this works over the rain cooled air, it'll probably weaken in intensity. And I'm thinking that most of this will probably be working toward the foothills over the next half hour. But you can see this is where the heavier rain is right here. These purple shades around Westgate Heights. And then as it works into that rain cooled air, it will be lesser in intensity and we'll pull out. That's the main cluster that just kind of came together over the last uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, high pressure is keeping it dry and hot, but moisture wrapping around it is giving us the showers and thunderstorms across the area. As this high eventually kicks to the east, we'll see temperatures lowering over southern parts of New Mexico, but it's going to take a while for that to kick in. And tomorrow we'll be in a situation where if the storms form around that area of high pressure, they're going to be gusty and giving way to some uh, pretty strong outflow winds at times. So start off mild tomorrow. We'll get into the mid 90s. The clouds will form a little bit. A passing gusty shower or thunderstorm will be present. There you can see it working on into dimming and under the central mountain chain, northeastern parts of the state. Still very hot throughout southern parts of New Mexico and then hot statewide again for Thursday. Still 105 expected in Roswell. And there'll be some spotty showers and thunderstorms there. And then we look for a change. Lighter portion of the weekend as more humid air drops into eastern parts of the state. Temperatures will be lowering as showers and thunderstorms from the central mountain chain eastward will be uh, the primary sources of where those storms will be forming. So it'll be breezy and hot throughout the Four Corners region forecast for tomorrow and temperatures lower to middle 90s over the next several days. Spotty showers and thunderstorms, but very hot temperatures, triple digit heat T or C on into dimming and Las Cruces. We'll see hot 90s over the next several days throughout the Silver City area. Maybe some showers and thunderstorms by the 4th of July. Raging heat across uh, the Roswell area. So heat advisory southern parts of New Mexico over the next several days, but then as more humid air comes in, temperatures will lower. Those showers and thunderstorms will increase a bit. 80s and 90s, northeastern parts of New Mexico. It'll be breezy. A few more thunderstorms working in by Thursday. And then with that backdoor front, northeastern parts of the state, temperatures will lower and showers and thunderstorms will be on the increase. 87 in Los Alamos, 92 in Española. Some passing showers and thunderstorms tomorrow around Santa Fe. Wednesday on into Thursday. Gusty winds especially and drying out a little bit Friday and Saturday before it picks up over the holiday weekend and as we get into the metro area a dry start with some isolated gusty storms in the afternoon that'll be the case the next couple of days hot and dry for friday and saturday breezy with some spotty showers and thunderstorms around sunday monday on into the fourth of july but the brunt of that will be from the central mountain chain on into eastern parts of the state but uh, still a few storms rumbling about yet this evening darlene we